What up, you Facebook? You're not even motherfuckers of these, or Facebook animal lovers. Never have I wanted to do a video so badly than the one I'm about to do. Um, I'm going to make it as quick as I can. I always say it, and then I just ramble on for about two hours. Um, basically, what this video is about is about the event that I've just put up on my page. Um, I'm asking people to attend a, a protest at the Rainbow Centre at 1 o'clock this coming Thursday. Um, the protest is for the staff of the Rainbow Centre. Um, I sort of have to choose my words wisely here because I want to stay within the legal parameters of the current situation in the Rainbow Centre. I don't want to infringe uh, on any um, impending legal actions that might um, occur as a result of what's going on there at the minute. So I'm trying not to do any damage um, in that sense. Um, but I do want to uh, inform people what's going on because um, I've read the article last week in the local press and I've read the one this morning and how can I put it uh, it's total fucking absolute and utter bullshit fake as fuck rubbish um, it's so angering it's it's unreal what I'm about to, you know what fuck the legal parameters I'm just going to tell you anyway this is first hand information information that I'm providing because I was there um, the problem at the minute the, in the Rainbow Centre is the staff that you meet when you go out there the girls that you meet when you go out there um, they're fantastic. They love animals. They do anything for them. They have done everything for them. Um, because of them, I met my baby Lizzie and was able to bring her home for that. I'll be eternally grateful. Um, I've known the girls many years through my love animals. Um, they've, they've, they've been getting out of... I mean, I've known them to get out of their bed at 3 and 4 and 5 in the morning just to go down and lie with sick animals or to keep animals warm. Um, they don't do the job for a salary. They joined the Rainbow Centre as a sal uh, as a as a charity. They didn't do it for a salary. A salary. They they joined it uh, as a volunteer, and they know how to run the centre and set out. Um, however, the problem started to arise when the staff um, wanted to upgrade the centre for the welfare of the animals. Um, for instance, the staff wanted a heating system integrated with the existing building. Um, they were told, however, that the the funds weren't available for that. Um, then shortly after, the the senior hierarchy, if you like, um, went on to advertise job positions within the Rainbow Centre, salaries um, reaching upwards of £23,000. If there's enough money there to pay salaries of £23,000, one would have to ask, why is there not enough money there to um, provide a heating system? Um, why look after a human being with a big, large salary? And not look after an animal with a basic, uh, with something so basic as heat. After all, it is an animal charity. Um, I think some of the some of the senior uh, figures within the Rainbow Centre um, have, have sort of forgot that, and that's where the problems are rising. Um, the staff that sort of, for want of a better word, kicked up a fuss, um, such as their passion for animals. Well, they, when they see the animals aren't being put first where they should be. Um, then life was made difficult for them and I really am stepping outside say the lines here to tell you this but I don't give a fuck um, things like the, the, the stuff that was mentioned today for instance in the paper um, uh, staff aren't allowed to bring their animals to the centre now say that, out, so say that out loud to hear how fucking ridiculous it is staff aren't allowed to bring their dogs to the fucking dog rehoming centre Certain members of staff out at the centre rescued dogs and took them home. And they have had them for many years and they've been bringing them in um, to the centre while they work with animals. Um, the dogs lie in the car or they lie in the office and they chill out around their, their humans. Um, the alternative is to leave them home on their own. Um, but it's funny the senior figures would rather them do that than bring them in to the rainbow centre. The dogs... Uh, they said that the the staff bringing on their dogs would only upset the the dogs on the set. It's that much bullshit. I'm not even going to give it any credence to even fucking go on explaining it. It's so ridiculous. Um, what what they're doing there, and, and I heard this thing about the mobile phones. You're talking to girls in their late twenties and their thirties, and you're you're telling them that they can't use mobile phones. The girls do not stand on their mobile phones. I've been there a million times for lengths of uh, for lo for long periods of time. The girls don't be on their phones. What what is happening at the Rainbow Centre? The hierarchy or the senior figures 
are throwing up as many hurdles as they can to the staff to make life difficult for them. That is the bottom line. Because the people they want to make life difficult for, they don't want there. The reason they don't want them there is because the people that they want rid of want the best for the animals. They don't want to make, they're not under profitability. They're not under turning the Rainbow Centre into a business. They wanted a charity like it's always been. But recently, that's the line they've went down. It has got so bad that senior uh, certain members of staff um, not only put on grievances, but they've actually had to take sick leave away from the animals as a result of these uh, senior figures. Again, once again, humans throwing up hurdles, causing problems, and it's coming back on the welfare of the animals. And that is what the problem of the staff have there at the minute. And the staff need our support on Thursday at 1 o'clock, away from the animals. That's so bizarre that the, the, the headline in the paper of the day was the senior figures within the Rainbow Centre want the protest moved away from the animal centre uh, for fear of upsetting animals. The very people that says that, most of them have not even been at the Rainbow Centre. And they can, they, can, they can challenge me on that. They fucking know that I know that that's the truth. Most of them, 80% of the head, uh, of, the, of the directors of the Rainbow Centre, haven't even been in the Rainbow Centre. Never been in the Rainbow Centre. Haven't seen any animals. They don't want the protest beside the Rainbow Centre is because they don't want to protest. So, I'm asking as many people as I can to come and support the staff who just want to be left in peace. They run the centre as a charity, as it's always been, and look after the animals and get them rehomed, get them well, and get them back to being loved and enjoying the rest of their lives. They don't want to be drawn on this controversy. They don't want to have to take sick leave away from the animals. One girl was treated so badly and was bullied by a senior member of staff that I personally accompanied her to a meeting with a, a, another senior figure from within the Rainbow Centre. That, that member of staff was told at that meeting that she would have to continue to stay away from the centre until she felt she was okay to come back. They could not accommodate her in any way to assure her that she would never have to be working with the member of staff who the, she was accusing of bullying her. Add the add injury to, add insult to injury, the 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 person that was accused of doing the bullying was never even pulled, was never asked, was never questioned, and was never sanctioned. There was no moves, there was no anything taken against the person who was accused of bullying. Yet and all the the senior members will refer to the Rainbow Centre as a workplace, and about the protocols and measures are taken. If I was in any workplace anywhere in this country or any other country and I accused somebody of bullying, that person would be immediately removed from their position until the, until the, uh, the accusation would be fully investigated and came to a conclusion. But what do we find in the Rainbow Centre? The person that was accused of bullying is still working there, unhindered. Yet and all, the staff member who broke down in tears during that meeting three or four times and the people within that meeting can fucking challenge me publicly because I was there. So you know I'm not bullshitting. That girl broke down in tears and she was simply left their own devices. That, that was just, that's tough. We can't even guarantee that you won't be working with the person that you're accusing of bullying you. And to this day, that, that other staff member has worked on 100. But yet and all, the, the senior figures now want to uh, refer to the, the Rainbow Centre as a workplace. Not a, not a, not a loving, comfortable, warm place for animals. A charity. No, it's a workplace now. You can't have it two ways. If it's a workplace, you need to investigate these issues. They need to be investigated anyway. But it's another example of how these people are talking business. They're talking salaries. Profitability. Uh, the protocols. All the staff want is charity. Warmth. Friendliness. Animal welfare. There's two very different things going on. We need to get the 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 Rainbow Centre back to what it's what the 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 glory that it was when Helen started it. It's a charity for animals. It's not somewhere where staff should be harangued. It's not somewhere should, where money issues should be a problem. We want uh, if the if they want to go down that road, let's have transparency. Open up the books. Show where all the donations have went. There's been work carried out at the Rainbow Centre that it go out to tender. Can the people within the Rainbow Centre tell the public what what how much of their money was used, and more 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 than anything else, who done the work? 
because I think if they answered that, the public would be very, very angry because I already know the answers to that, and so do they. And not only that, I have already been, for the past couple of weeks, going back and forward with the Northern Ireland Charity Commission about these problems. It's not going to go away. They need to address them. And I would love to see everybody out to support the staff, the wonderful staff of the Rainbow Centre, on Thursday at 1 o'clock. I'll be there, they'll all be there, and I hope to see you all there. So, sorry for the big serious video, but we need to look after our wee furry boobies, because they look after us. See you Thursday.